Hey, welcome back. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I know it's, if you've been watching all of these, you've been watching a lot of this stuff. So anyway, let's, uh, I think we've got the database stuff pretty much wrapped up, at least for now. I'm sure we'll come back and find some other things. But let's go back and look at our content pages. So let's get back to this newsletter page. And one of the things we need to fix is uh, both here in the menu and then here on the page, Scott said he doesn't want uh, viewers to have access to the old old newsletters. So we'll move, we'll keep the page around and we'll just uh, make a link to it off the admin page. Then the other big thing we want to do is make this heading go the width of the page. So let's go take a look at the heading and get rid of that link. So getting rid of the link here's easy. We'll get rid of this. Getting rid of or making this thing as wide as the page is a little tricky and I'll just show you why. So you know right now it's being uh, the width is being determined by the width of this form view and we have this inside the form view so if we move it outside the form view we can make the heading just as big as we want it so if we move it up here it'll be as wide as that um, the div that it's inside of so let's save this and show you what happens so you notice now it has the date in the newsletter here when we reload it after we move it we get the width that we want, but we lose the date. And the reason we lose the date is because we're getting that from the database. And so this needs to be inside the form view for us to uh, to bind to it. So there's a couple ways we can handle this. We could, uh, you know, m go into VB code and do this binding ourselves. And or I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to move this back inside here inside the template so it's inside the form view and I'm just going to set a width on the form view and I believe the width was 760 um, so let's try this I, um, I can't remember I guess there's probably some padding that we need to worry about but let's save this and check this out okay so we're a little too wide uh, looks like again by the width of the padding, right? Or double the width of the padding. So, uh, but we have the date in here. So let's go, and I believe the padding was 16 pixels on a side, so that's 32. So this should be 728 if my math is correct. Okay, so that's looking pretty close. Uh, it's a little long on this side relative to this side so let's just bump it down a little bit more let's go 720 and I know you love watching me do this okay so that looks pretty good to me uh, we could make it maybe just hair bigger so I'm gonna go 722 and call it good and then uh, so I think this page is good the other thing I want to do is go to our menu then our site map and take the old newsletters off of here. So this is no longer going to, this one's um, newsletter is no longer going to have submenus. So I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to move this down to the admin part. And then I'm also going to get rid of this one since newsletter has no children. Then under admin, I'm going to put old newsletters under here. Okay, then while we're here, I'm also going to add in some notes for um, let's see. We got add product, add newsletter, and then we want to also add an event. Let's change these. And then we'll also add in one for uh, uploading images on this admin page.
called upload image or upload photo. Let's go check and see. Upload pictures. Okay, so let's save those and just go check things out again here. Okay, so newsletter you notice now has no sub ones. And if we log in, oh, if our database stay up. Okay, oops. Okay, and then under admin, we now have add events and upload a picture and view the old newsletters. Okay, so that looks good for this video.